in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an Illumistatic kit. Wait, was that Zach Cook? Yes, yes it was Zach, and there's a very good reason why he was on Flyride, but I'm not going to tell you about it till the end of the video. My name is Zach and I own NTX Glow. I've been building lights for many years now and I specialize in tail lights. You can see here we have tons of 3DZ lights on the bench and I do a lot of these Illumistetic boards, Illumistetic kits. Just look at this Illumistetic specific drawer. Lots of kits over here. All of these are LEDs and resistors. Let's get started with the tools that you'll need. Start, you're going to need the Illumistetic kit. What we're working with right now is the NA Miata Heart Tail Lights. The kit is going to come with two main boards, two reverse boards, red, amber, and white LEDs, resistor packs, and it's also going to come with a dimmer module so that your red lights can also have parking and brake lights. The next thing that you're gonna need is Wiring, just some basic red and black wiring so that you can keep track of which one's power, which one's ground. You're gonna need some snips. Uh, these are just bigger so that we can cut through the wiring pretty quickly. Um, I use smaller ones for the Illumistetic kit because you're gonna trim the LED cathodes and it's nice to have something a little bit smaller. Uh, obviously some wire strippers to strip the wiring. Soldering iron, solder. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the red ones. Specifically, the NA Miata design is reverse, break, and then turn. And in this case, we are actually gonna have an amber turn signal. So this middle heart is the only one that is going to be red. When you're ready to start putting the LEDs in place, there is one thing that you need to know about these LEDs. LEDs are directional, hence the name light emitting diode. A diode is something that only allows electricity to flow in one direction. This one emits light whenever electricity passes over it. That is why these are directional. You can see that one cathode is longer than the other. Off the top of my head, I cannot remember which one is positive and which one is negative. Every brand is different. So I would just double check with uh, the current pack that you have from Illumistetic or wherever you're ordering from for which one is going to be positive and which one is going to be negative. It's important to know that because we are going to install it in a way that allows us to have all of the grounds on the inside of the heart and all of the powers on the outside. Or vice versa, however you want to do it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have all of the short cathodes aimed in and all of the long cathodes aimed out, or vice versa, however you want to do it. I'm going to have all of the short cathodes aimed in gonna go ahead and start putting them into place. You can see that I just pushed it in there by hand to push it in a little bit more and make sure that it's completely sturdy. I use a pocket screwdriver, just a little bit of pressure right there. And I'm going to do that for all of the rest of these. And that's all of the LEDs pushed in, except for one. The way that Illumistetic makes these is by CNCing a piece of black acrylic, and then they heat it up and shape it to the light itself, uh, which can cause some of the holes to be a little bit smaller after it's been heated up and shaped. Uh, so that's actually what's going on here. To fix that, you can actually take a drill bit and just drill it out a little bit so that the LED will fall into place. This should work. For this, I'm just gonna drill from the back side so that it don't damage the front side. And it really didn't need much. I actually didn't go up another step on the step bit here. Just enough so that the LED will actually go into place and not fall out. Okay, that's the easy part. Now we need to figure out what size resistors to use and actually wire everything up. To do that, we're gonna use this list right here. Every single Illumistetic kit is going to come with this little printout and it's your cheat sheet to know which resistors to use. If you don't have it in the box, Illumistetic has it on their website. I don't know what all these notes are. This is Garrett's station and he has written all these notes. I don't know what any of that means and I don't know why he says not. So what we are looking for is 
that the lights do have dimming. Dimming obviously means that we're gonna have parking lights and brake lights, but that can also mean that you're using a ghost module, like the version five module, and you want it to have dimming for the show mode, or you wanna have a little bit of dimming for your turn signal or whatever the case may be but it, it might not mean that it's for brake, light, brake lights and parking lights. It could also mean that you're using it for show mode or something like that. Anyway, so we are using the dimming section here. We have red LEDs. I personally like to use the five or the four because it's a little less work. So I could end up using the 270 or the 150. You'll see that it says 120 to 150. All that they mean is that you can use 120 and 150 interchangeably. They're going to ship you either 150 or 120. They'll, they usually don't send you both in the same package. It's whatever they have in house at the time. Now we need to... Now it's time to separate all of these LEDs into packs of five, four, or three, whichever one you end up using. The right thing to do is to count it out, see what's gonna break up evenly, and then wire it in like that. I don't always do that, but it still ends up working out just fine. So in this case, there are 34 LEDs. That doesn't divide evenly into three, four, or five. So what I'm gonna do is packs of five until I get to the last one, and that's going to be a pack of four. So I can obviously divide 30 by five, and then you gotta have four LEDs left over. So I'll use one pack of four. The marker is not required, but it does help keep things a little bit organized. So I go ahead and mark it just like so. All right, that right there is one pack. It's going to be five LEDs. It's gonna be 150. So I go ahead and mark 150, and I do it on the next one. This is going to keep the packs organized and I don't have to go back and figure out which resistor to use as I already have it marked here. I can just reach over to the bag, grab a resistor and install it. Sorry for the tripod in the shot, but I, this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay, now we can actually start wiring. What I'm gonna do is fold down this cathode and this cathode just to get them out of the way. I'm going to trim all of these cathodes. Now, when you're trimming, all you're trying to do is make it short enough to reach to the other side, but not too short that it doesn't reach anymore. So that should be plenty short, folded over and across like so. Okay, we are going to pause right there and I'm gonna explain what's going on. So for pack number one, the negative cathode is going to the positive cathode of the other LED and so on and so forth until you get to here. This is going to end up being your resistor and then it's going to go out to negative. This style of wiring where each LED is going into itself is called series. Not a very creative name because it's literally just the LEDs wired up. So you have one LED powering the next, powering the next, powering the next, powering the next. And now that we have it mostly set up, we can actually solder into place. And to clean this up, I'm gonna go ahead and fold these cathodes over and get them out of the way. And that is how you wire in one pack. We just have to do that seven more times. Well, at least the packs are done. Now, all the white smoke that you see on the plastic itself is really not that big of a deal. You're not gonna see it on the front side. That's just from the soldering. The next step is to actually wire everything up. But first, I wanna make sure that I am actually putting the right color wire to the right one. I wanna double check for uh, positive and negative. That's perfect. Negative is in the middle and positive is on the outside. What I'm going to do is wire all the grounds together and I'm also going to wire all the powers together. We're gonna have one power and one ground wire to power all of it.
Let's test it. It works. Need to trim the excess. One of the last things that you do for the red LEDs is install the dimmer module. So in order to keep everything clean, I actually like to glue it right here. Once it's inside the light, it's not gonna bounce around or anything and it's gonna be completely out of the way. Overall, it just makes a cleaner install. All right, now you can see we have two wires going into the module and a ground. That is going to control the parking lights and the brake lights. And I have actually glued it here. It's still curing, so we're gonna leave it just like that. And that is how you wire up an Illumisthetic taillight kit. You can really let your creativity run wild with these kits. There's so many different options, aside from just the basic plug and play style that we have over there. Like I said earlier, you can do a version five module from Ghost instead of this. You can do the addressable five millimeter LEDs, which is getting really popular right now. We really like installing the Corso Motion modules for the turn signal so that you have sequential turn signal that's actually plug and play. But what would you do different? Let me know in the comments. Definitely make sure that you comment below like Zach asked. And I just want to tell you, this is actually a new part of the channel. We're going to have Zach hosting a lot of the videos here. And I have more announcements coming up, which I want to invite you to. We're going to do a live stream with myself and with Zach. We're going to bring up a bunch of the community members to ask questions. We'll probably even have other people on that live stream. So that's coming up. I will see you there.